Welcome to Data Structures in C++. In this video, let's get set up with CMake. I've defined a student object that we're going to use as basically just a test object. Uh, we'll use it in all of the videos. Um, it's a very simple class. It has a name and an ID and a GPA, and you can print all of that information out. Uh, it's all defined here in this header file, so we don't have any associated um, CPP files that we need to uh, compile with this. Now, our main program uh, for this video uh, basically just creates a student object, prints out its information, and then uh, does some cleanup. So you'll see that I have uh, two CMake lists.txt uh, files. In these files uh, is where all of our CMake commands are going to be. So let's look at this one in the root. Um, it has three lines. One, we're setting the minimum required version, and we're setting up a project name. This next line is telling CMake to look inside the source directory for more CMake lists.txt files. So if we look inside here, we're doing three things. One, we're setting some compiler flags, um, warnings, and the, the standard of C++ that we're going to use. And then we're telling CMake that uh, we're going to include some header files from this directory. Finally, we're just creating our executable. Uh, we're calling it CMake underscore example, and it needs main.cpp uh, to compile and link. Uh, so that's about it. Um, let's go over to uh, our terminal and start building some of this stuff. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a build folder. So we're going to make directory and we're going to call it build. Uh, now we can see that there's uh, nothing in here if we uh, go inside of it. So there's nothing in there. Uh, so first thing, all we're going to do is do cmake, uh, cmake, and then dot dot. And it's going to look for compilers and all this good stuff, and it's going to generate a bunch of files that it needs. So uh, I'm going to do the tree command, and you can see that it created a bunch of stuff. So we're not actually going to mess with any of this, uh, which is great. Okay. Uh, so all we're actually going to do is we're just going to type make. Now it's going to build our program, and it's actually uh, built the program, or it's actually put the executable in another folder called source because that's where it came from. So you can see up here that we have a source folder. Um, let's go into that directory, okay, source. And you can see here, this is where our executable is. So if we just do dot forward slash, uh, we can uh, run our executable. And you can see it just printed out um, all of the stuff that was associated with the particular student object that we created. And that's about it. So. Um, We'll be using CMake in the rest of these videos. Uh, it's going to make our life a lot easier, and uh, it'll be good times.